75 years ago, not a single person could have imagined the world we live in today. Science and technology have advanced at a pace that is almost hard to believe. That is why the future we are about to explore 75 years from now is not just wild imagination. It could very well happen. And science might advance even faster than I can predict. By around 2030, fully autonomous electric taxis may become a common sight in most major cities. Battery prices keep dropping. Studies already show that self-driving systems can be safer than human drivers. People might no longer carry smartphones. Instead, they may use AR glasses and other wearable oh. devices to manage their lives. After work, virtual surfing or virtual hiking could become popular hobbies. VR technology is already advancing quickly. It may soon grow beyond simple games, replacing real workouts and even social gatherings. By 2040, gene editing and nanomachine technologies could be widespread. Cancer and some genetic diseases may become fully treatable conditions. With average life expectancy passing 90, it could feel natural for people in their 60s or 70s to start new careers or pick up new hobbies. Some might take up drone racing. Others could enjoy moonlight camping on lunar bases. NASA and private companies are already working toward permanent lunar settlements by the mid-2030s. So by the 2040s, a trip to the moon might feel no more unusual than an expensive overseas vacation. By 2050, climate change could reshape Earth in dramatic ways. Sea levels might rise by several dozen centimeters, putting coastal cities at risk. In response, massive floating cities could be built at sea. Japan and the Netherlands are already developing experimental floating structures. This is entirely plausible. Around this time, room temperature superconductors may also become practical. Some buildings and transportation systems could float in midair, with aerial highways connecting them. People could spend their free time fishing from sky bridges with drones. Or they could play games through brain-computer interfaces, connecting to the internet with just their thoughts. Of course, new arguments may arise. I can hear all your thoughts. I can't play with you anymore. By around 2060, a city housing 100,000 people might be established on Mars. If the colonization plans by companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin succeed, new sports unique to the Red Planet could appear. Super jump basketball or sand surfing could become popular thanks to the planet's lower gravity. With stem cells and nanobots regenerating the body and slowing aging, some people may live healthy lives past 120. But such treatments will likely be extremely expensive. New social tensions could emerge between immortality elites and everyone else. By 2070, commercial fusion power could supply nearly all of Earth's energy, making fossil fuels virtually obsolete. If projects like ITER in France succeed and scale up, a clean energy revolution is inevitable. Humanity may turn its focus outward, building bases on icy moons like Jupiter's Europa, exploring the oceans beneath its frozen surface. By this time, superconducting technologies could be advanced enough that most major cities on Earth and Mars use levitating buildings and magnetic transportation networks. Memory backup technology could also become possible. Phrases like, I saved my travel memories to the cloud, I'll revisit them later, might become a part of everyday life. By the 2080s, humanity may split into two distinct groups. Some will remain fully biological, living in natural bodies. Others will enhance themselves with artificial organs and brain upload technologies, becoming augmented humans. The augmented might live at a hyper-accelerated pace in virtual reality, where a full day can pass in just one second. Unmodified humans may continue to enjoy slow camping and traditional sports on Earth and Mars. By around 2090, post-humans, beings fully merged with AI, may emerge. Some people might abandon their physical forms entirely, choosing to exist permanently within virtual worlds. Over 100 million humans could be spread across the solar system. Earth itself may become less of a home and more of a preserved natural sanctuary and resort. And by 2100, more than half of humanity may live beyond Earth. Interstellar colony ships could launch toward nearby star systems, such as Proxima Centauri. Hybrid beings, part human, part AII, might create entirely new kinds of civilizations. Earth would remain humanity's ancestral home, but mostly as a place for tourists, a world people visit to remember where it all began.
Some might say this sounds far-fetched, but in the past, those who tried to predict the future were always told their ideas were impossible. And yet, science and technology have always advanced beyond those predictions. So what will our future really look like?